his manager having announced him here we go for the usual ritual maybe let started by the samurai charge with the sword we're not sure sometimes he operates that before the salt throwing ritual sometimes he doesn't let's see if he does this afternoon sumo style wrestling ritual from japan Max Ward, the referee, checking the feet and the fingernails. Still gorgeous George, his manager, still staying in there right till the last moment. Hit the sword put away, so no samurai charge this afternoon. His opponent with his back to us, Lee Bronson. Lee Bronson of Ballam, London. 15 stone four of him. But Nagasaki at 16 and a half stone. And here comes the salt throwing, bowing to his opponent's corner, throwing the salt. Most of it landing on his second, outside the ring there, didn't look too happy. There's the Duchess there, right behind most of the salt landed on her in the opposite corner too. So she'll be quite happy. Anything Kendo does is okay with her. So six rounds, two falls to the side. So Lee Brunson and the normal dark trunks there. And uh, Kendo Nagasaki, his superior opponent, both in strength, experience, and weight. But Brunson, a very, very strong boy and great potential in this wrestling business. But I think he's up against a bit of a tough one here this afternoon in this main bout. But we've got two main bouts here this afternoon. This one and the one that follows this between Steve Vidor and Roy Sinclair, which should be a real humdinger of a heavyweight. But this one, Bill is the main bout. Two falls, two submissions are a knockout to the side over six rounds. And everybody here in this packed to capacity, Fairfield Hall in Croydon, not a single seat to be had and very little standing room around the sides. Hoping, oh, but a few, I'm sure, Nagasaki fans that maybe Lee Bronson can do the impossible and unmask the great Nagasaki. Well, that's a good bridge he's going back in. The double handed wrist leader, Bronson, but now he can get it right, so the, the whip came from the experienced man. And another in each one side. Uh, and Nagasaki steps back when told to by Max Ward, the ref. That's unusual to start. Side headlock now, Nagasaki. <laughs> Trying to throw him off like a baby, didn't like that at all, Nagasaki. Didn't work either, so it didn't worry him so much as if it had worked, of course. Couldn't see Nagasaki taking that sort of treatment. Especially from a comparative newcomer. He's only been a pro since uh, November 1975, Lee Bronson. Ten years amateur experience before that.
Nagasaki staying well back, letting Bronson come at him for a moment. He wants to counter this, obviously. Side head chancery on. Oh, yes. Nice throw from the chancery. Bronson. Can he turn that escape move into a counter? Not quite. And the double wrist lock made a second. Good escape again with the head scissors. So it's Brunson still holding on with his head scissors for the moment. Not too long a moment, but at least he had him. Side headlock counter to Nagasaki, the masked wrestler from who knows where at six foot two and sixteen and a half stone in weight. Back hammer now to Brunson. So that fairly heavy forward leaning head scissors to Nagasaki doesn't just relax on the deck like that. He just tries to shove his head forward as well. Half a minute to go. And it's up to Brunson to turn out of this trouble. Before the oh easy. Oh, well done. And Nagasaki now trying to uh, shake hands. He doesn't know, of course, there's only about eight seconds to go. Kendo Nagasaki, not too happy with the end of that. He's sent back to his corner by Max Ward. Let's go and have a look at Lee Bronson. There he is of Ballam, London. Six foot two, exactly the same height as his opponent this afternoon in this main bout. Fifteen stone four, therefore giving away one stone three pounds. We first saw him way back in 75, uh, the same year he turned full-time professional. After ten years with the amateur wrestling club at Kennington. Seconds away, round two. Round two and no score in this main bout of the afternoon with five rounds to go. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner, Kendo Nagasaki, the masked wrestler versus Lee Bronson of London. Bronson, a strong lad with great potential, as we said earlier, but not making too much of an impression against the experience of Nagasaki so far. He's got a couple of neat moves and a couple of neat escapes, but Nagasaki generally manages to come back pretty quick. Though he fell to on the bell of the last round, and that one got rid of him quick. Now, what sort of landing has he had? The referee doesn't like it one bit. Oh, back shot to the throat. Straight fingers to the throat. So Nagasaki's first public warning. Referee Max Ward in a tough mood here this afternoon. That was only his second warning, and it was a public one.
and really turning that head now against his head. And just exactly where the fingers are, I look very near the windpipe to me, but the referee is right down there watching. Nasty moment for Johnson there. A little bit early. No, allowed. Nicely held, but not for long. Nice body check for Johnson. The crowd really behind him now. And a no fine tackle there, Johnson. Now for Nagasaki, suplex him all the way over. No count. Johnson, a possible first ball here, and he's got it. Oh, the crowd will love that. Two minutes, 43 seconds into round two. And believe it or not, it's Nagasaki on the deck there still with Lee Bronson, the comparative novice, having got the first fall as early as halfway through round two. Nagasaki won't like that one bit. Bronson rearing the go, hoping to make his chance count with another quick one in the third round. Four rounds to go. And it's all for round three, so Nagasaki's got to get up whether he likes it or not. He'll be counted now to ten. He better be up by ten. Up at seven. A little bit uh, ambitious here, trying to get the mask off after one win by one fall. Still Bronson going in, the crowd right behind him. Trying to follow up now, I hope he doesn't get too ambitious now against this experienced man. Like Bostic did in the first round, the first bout against Torontis. Came forward too quick, too sure. One public warning against Nagasaki and trailing by one for the nil. I would never have guessed that score at the end of round two. And the straight fingers this way. And the front head chancellor. And that's just where those hands are. The referee watching very carefully, and I don't blame him. They may be very near the windpipe there. And again, turning that head right over. Johnson turning with the rule as much as he can and eventually the referee decides to break it up. He's not sure enough what's happening on the inside there. He couldn't see well enough. Again those hands around that Bronson neck. Forcing him back to canvas. And I'd love to see that right hand on Nagasaki now, exactly where it is. Right across the throat, look to me. And Max warning him privately, very definitely. No more of that, please. It certainly slowed. Nice cross buttock there by Nagasaki. Certainly slowed Bronson down a little bit. More treatment to the head. Headlocks, neck treatment. Nagasaki with his powers, just taking him around the ring like that.
that's the correct position for the set of uh, Morrison's breaking it. And that shows the Bronson power. He needs to break that. Net clock there. Pressure points. Thumbs in dead the right position too. Nice turn. A good up and cut for round. Nagasaki having quite a bit of trouble with his ears here this afternoon. He's got a treatment to the ears, he doesn't like it. A touch of the Mick McManus trouble. So the wrench. Ronson catching him up far too late in the ropes. Only 10 seconds to go in this third round. Nagasaki straying back on the ropes in, the, in his own corner there on the bell. Kendo Nagasaki. Incidentally, you may have seen an article in the TV Times about Nagasaki and his faith healing. Well, he's had thousands of letters about this, tremendous, and he's intending to answer every single one himself personally, or George uh, Gillette, his manager, is. G George told me that in the dressing room before this afternoon's part. Seconds away, round four. Halfway through the out then, three rounds to go as we start round four. Still Lee Bronson of London leading Nagasaki, the masked wrestler, by one fall and ill and one public warning against Nagasaki. Next war being very, very tough. Still teaching out that public warning as early as he did. Lever now, Bronson. Certainly worrying Nagasaki, even, even if he makes a comeback here, which I expect him to with his experience. Bronson is reminding him that he's been in the ring, that's for sure. Single finger into lock. And is Bronson getting the better of it at the moment? Trying a straight arm left, thinking about it. Nagasaki really, uh, the back shot's coming now, I thought he'd probably get a bit strong soon, he, he would never allow that sort of treatment for too long. So deadly, those straight finger jabs, straight to the center of the wrist right And more neck treatment to follow. if he can put it off. Bottom rope just saved Bronson there. And the first, oh, the body slam outside the ring. Right under the apron, and not a good landing on the back there as he caught the apron of the ring on his way out. Yeah. 
posting follow up to and it's a kamikaze crash coming and there it is oh that could finish him that could finish Bronson completely in this part I doubt if he'll ever get up from that there's two minutes to go in this fourth round but he won't need it Just two minutes and five seconds in a round four. A knockout, Nagasaki the winner, after an excellent start by his comparative novice opponent, Lee Bronson. Charlie Fisher, RMC. The round four by knockout, ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Kendo Nagasaki!